it's very hard to uh, pick pick bits and pieces out of it. Uh, it's across the board. It's uh, pretty tidy, but um, I'll just pick a couple of numbers out there. You've seen it all before. You guys have been onto this since Friday, I'm sure. Um, you know, revenue of uh, 65 um, and a net of, um, you know, a bit over 14. Um, and then you cruise down the, the page a little bit and, um, you know, cash on hand is uh, $20 million. So um, that um, tells the story. It's, a, it's, it's healthy, it's strong, um, what have you. I don't know whether we really need to go through um, every slide in this um, prezzo. Is that okay with you guys? It, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you all looked at it and you're going to have more questions uh, anyway. Um, but so I'll probably um, maybe just just touch on uh, on the uh, F, FY19 overview because that's we're we're two months or three months into the next year, so this is this is old news. Um, so um, probably the things there is uh, mainly um, you know the div was um, tidy, and plus we uh, we put a special div out for uh, three cents a share, um, mainly because we have the money and we don't want a lazy balance sheet. Um, as you guys know, um, we spent you know. Bit over ten million dollars last year on uh, capex, and you know I think we'll probably go close to uh, spending the same this year uh, on capex. And uh, there's some pretty big machines coming and being ordered, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's all that's all happening. So um, so just slipping through there, maybe the, the financial performance in the categories. Uh, just touch on that. Just the the graph. Everybody likes a graph. Um, but uh, ma makes it look pretty good when it when when you look at the numbers there. Uh, motorsports surprisingly um, uh, thirty percent uh, growth over the last twelve months, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, and um, and that was across the board. A lot of it was F one, uh, particularly when they went to the uh, Helix core um, across the board. So. Uh, um, everything else is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, balance sheet. Um, I don't even. I don't have to talk about that. I'm sure you uh, see that. That's uh, pretty strong. Um, what have you? Uh, working capital and cash flow. Um, you know the, You know we, we do have a very um, strong cash conversion rate, and. Um, you know, if it's around about that hundred percent, it's uh, that's pretty good. Um, uh, segment analysis. Um, you look at uh, CNR, which is uh, certainly uh, heading on the right way. It's uh, it's taken an effort. It's been a bit of a slog uh, last couple of years, and uh, it's uh, good to see them come on uh, on the positive side of of the ledger. Um, they have just. Uh, um, they've just started uh, um, uh, supplying Ford uh, with the new Ford OE program for the for the new Mustangs coming out. I was over there a couple of weeks, as I said on the earlier call, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I was at Flat Rock, the uh, uh, the um, site that manufactures all the Mustangs worldwide, and um, seeing our stuff get put on cars on the assembly line, which is pretty pretty spinny. Um, business outlook, uh, very strong. Um, we, uh, a couple of things, we uh, have a new building uh, next door, uh, which we've got in here that uh, we're fitting out for the micro matrix. It's uh, going to be a standalone. It's, uh, it's a lab. Uh, it's a lab, very sophisticated and what have you. People will get the opportunity to have a look at that at our AGM, which will be held at the end of October uh, at the premises down there, so people will be able to look through that and have a look. Um, I'm just going to pick out a couple of things here. Um, the OEM programs are on stream. Uh, everything's going to plan. Um, the AMG X1, I'll just mention that. That's been pushed out a tad. We are 
building or they are building uh, mule cars right now so the program is certainly um, still strong uh, but it's just been pushed back a little bit so we won't see much of the AMG X1 in this financial year but the the Valkyrie and uh, and also the, the two Ford programs are strong and uh, they'll be as planned. Um, just a little bit on the financial side, um, you know, we, we are hedging uh, through the through to uh, June next year and uh, we hedge 50% of our expected income in uh, pounds. Um, Brexit, I don't know. I don't think anybody does know. So, uh, but I, I think there's probably a, a lot that's uh, been um, priced into the pound as it sits today. So uh, that's pretty good. Um, our continuing with our business outlook, um, additive manufacturing. We've spoken about that for uh, some time now. Uh, we have now ordered um, two uh, 3D printing machines uh, from two different companies. Um, there'll be a lot more info on that. Uh, particularly at the AGM. Uh, CT scanner, which is the um, same sort of thing, um, more info at the AGM, that will be there by December slash January. And as I said earlier on, the um, micro matrix facility um, is very close. Um, uh, the macro outlook, um, I don't think I have to go through it line by line. Uh, We've got a, a strong pipeline across every category that we're dealing on, um, particularly more so now with uh, uh, military um, aerospace and electronic cooling, which is uh, starting to uh, start to uh, grab some legs and uh, get cranking. So, yeah, I think uh, you'll see uh, quite a bit of movement in that over the next couple of years. That it's just uh, starting to be very positive for that.